Hey everyone, it's David from Creoform, and in today's video, I want to talk about the capability of using an outlier filter in VX Inspect when doing an inspection using scan data. Now, when an entity is measured with a mesh, it's important to validate the results, as it only takes a few rogue triangles to throw off your results, especially when working with GDNTs and datums. So I have an example here, and I'm going to show you how to use the outlier filter and the effect it can have on your measurement. So let's take a look at this part right here. So as you can see, I have uh, previously created a couple of entities in my inspection program, uh, one of which is my datum plane A uh, on the top here. And you can see that the flatness is pretty high, about one millimeter. So for this type of part, uh, probably there's some things going on over here. And I have my cylinder two down in there that uh, I put a true position in relation to A, B, and C. And again, the value is quite high. So. On my plane A, my flatness at one millimeter, I suspect that there's something's wrong. So I will double click on my plane A. Now in the left panel here, under calculation filter parameters, I have access to my outlier filter. Now by default it's set to none. Uh, in my case, I wanna use a percentage. 5% uh, is the default value, it's more than enough. And right away, you can see in the 3D viewer that uh, there's some pink in my selection. This, is, this means that those triangles will be filtered out, so they will not be taken into account when uh, the entity is being uh, calculate or is being fit. And uh, just by doing so, you can see that my result for my flatness is now down to 31 micron, which makes more sense. Uh, so just by removing a little bit of triangle, that again were outliers i have a very good result on my flatness and it makes a lot more sense if we look at my cylinder too remember my value for my true position was 1.2 millimeter so i will just accept my plane a so i update everything and now my true position on my cylinder two is down to 0.729 which again is a lot better so just by removing some outlier on my datum a uh, it changed my value a lot. So that's why when you're doing an inspection using scan data, it's important to validate your results. And if need be, you can use the outlier filter that is located on the left panel for every entity that you are creating. So that's pretty much it for the outlier filter in VX Inspect. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can drop us a like, you can subscribe to the Careerform channel so you don't miss any cool stuff about 3D scanning. My name is David, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.